Bee Poop Bop, it's Becca, and welcome back to Baking with Becca. So today, we're going to be making vegan tie-dye donuts. So these are gonna be really fun because we get to be creative, we get to try whatever colors we want, swirl them together, make cool patterns, and whatever. Um, and obviously, I really like tie-dye since I wear tie-dye all the time, so I'm really excited to make these, and they're gonna be gorgeous, and they're gonna taste amazing. So here we go. So here are all of our ingredients. Let's start over here. We have one cup of flour, a third cup of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of vinegar, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla, a third cup of rice milk, two tablespoons of melted margarine, and food coloring. I got my whisk, and now we are ready to mix together all of our dry ingredients. So we just add them all in. and stir. I like to use a whisk just because it's easier to get out all the lumps. But do it however you please. Now ready for the wet ingredients already. Time to make our volcano. So we have our baking soda and our vinegar. And this is acting as our egg substitute. It's gonna help make the donuts fluffy. As soon as it stops fizzing, add it in to your bowl. So we're gonna mix the wet ingredients separate from the dry ingredients before adding them together. So to this we can add all the rest. We have our rice milk, our melted margarine, and our vanilla. But I, ah! Stay! No! Okay, I guess I can't dump it. There we go. And mix it up. Mm. Mm, delicious. That looks so good. The margarine's a little chunky. That's okay. Okay, now add this in to the dry. So I decided that the batter was a little bit too thick, and so I added about another tablespoon of rice milk. So now it's a good consistency, and we're ready to split up the batter. So make sure now preheat your oven to 350 degrees so it's ready in time. And now we want to split up the batter into three different bowls. We can make colors. You can make as many colors as you want. Ooh. <laughs> Breathing. So we're gonna dye the batter three different colors. You can use as many colors as you want. You can make it a complete rainbow. Really whatever, tie-dye, it's natural, whatever. Feel free to do whatever you want. And so I'm gonna split the batter into our three bowls. Okay, so it's all split up. And we're ready for our food coloring. And this is one of my favorite things about baking, just watching the colors mix in. Not even joking. So we're gonna do pink. So these two are gel food colorings, and then this one is a liquid food coloring. The gel food colorings are a lot stronger, um, and they're not gonna change the consistency of the batter, but for our purpose, it's okay. So you only need a tiny bit of this to still get a nice vibrant color. tiny bit of this one and also only add a little bit to start and then you can always add more but you can never take it out and some people like to use like huge amounts of food coloring but I really don't like to do that because it's kind of gross it's just chemicals so you know only put a little bit of chemicals in your desserts <laughs> So I'm happy with my first two colors, but the blue and like the turquoisey one are a little bit too similar. So I'm gonna add a little bit of red and make it more purpley. 
Just kidding, we're gonna add a little bit of purple instead. Can you drop? Perfect, so now we're gonna get our donut pan ready. So I went ahead and I sprayed the baking sheet, just normal baking spray so it doesn't stick. And now what we wanna do is just randomly like swirl the batter into the different donut tins. So right here I have, these are pretty much like mini donuts, so it makes 12 at once. Um, there are a bunch of different kinds of donut pans. If you don't have one or if you do, you know, you can use whatever you have. Um, I got this on Amazon, so there's a bunch of different types you can use. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the batter and just like drop it in, swirl it around a little bit. And so I'll do the pink in a couple of them and then move on to another color. So put a little bit of this greenish one in. So you don't want to fill the donuts all the way because they are going to expand. And then what I'm going to do is take a chopstick and just do a little bit of a swirl. So you don't want to mix the colors all the way, but you want to get a nice swirl going to make it look like tie-dye. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to do that for all the rest of the donuts. So our batter is ready. And something that I really love about this is that they all are unique. They all look different. They have their own swirl. They have similar colors because, you know, we're all the same on the inside. But we all have small variations and that's what makes us all unique. So these are going to go in the oven um, at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. Um, same rule as if you stick a toothpick in and it comes out clean, that means that they're done. Okay, so now it is time to make the glaze because the donuts are cooling. They look amazing, no sneak peeks yet. So here are all of our ingredients for the glaze and then for decoration. So here we have half a cup of powdered sugar, one tablespoon of rice milk, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. So we're just gonna add everything all together and mix it together with a fork because that will help us get the lumps out. This is just a very simple vanilla glaze. It's gonna help to bring out the vanilla in the donuts and just to add some sweetness. And there we go, a nice simple glaze. So you don't want it to be too thick or too thin. This looks good. And now we are ready to put it on our donuts. As you can see, our donuts are gorgeous. Um, so we're actually gonna dunk the bottoms of them because it's like you can see the ring a lot better. So I'm just gonna dunk it in here. Take it out. Let it, the excess drip off a little bit. Here, and then we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top. And there we go, how cute. So let's do another one. The donuts are done. They are so cute. They're so colorful, which I love. They're just like happy. They're a happy summer dessert. And so let's try one. So the inside is what's gonna look really nice because it's all tie-dye in the bottom, of course. So I'm just gonna rip off. Wow, okay, look at this. Look at those colors. It even matches my nail polish. <laughs> okay, that looks so good. So I'm just gonna rip off a piece and try it. Mmm. Those are really good. They're really cakey and they're very, you just have a really, really good vanilla flavor. The sprinkles add a nice touch of crunch in there. This is an awesome recipe. I hope you guys try it. Like this video. If you do like it, try out the recipe. Uh, make sure to also subscribe 
And I have some other tie-dye videos too. I made a tie-dye cake um, last year. So there's a link to that right over here. So you can go check that out if you like the tie-dye recipes. And I'll see you next time. Bye.